who go <laughs> in the studio with us. And uh, Charles Easley from the Art Institute is hanging out with us. Uh, and uh, how you doing this morning, Miss Parker? I'm doing well in yourself. All right, got a full plate today. We got so many people coming through the show today. That's a good thing. I'm telling you. We're growing. That's right, we are growing. How's Dorica's doing? Oh, he's doing well. Yeah, we need to do a shout out to him so he can come on board immediately. That's right. Dorica's, where's, where's Dorica's uh, hair studio? He's actually located on Independence Avenue, Hair mm -hmm. by Him. Yeah, Hair by Him. Yes. Yeah, so we definitely want to give uh, Dorica's a shout out this morning on WGIV 103.3. They'll be coming on as one of our uh, sponsors for the segment. And, uh, of course, uh, what topic do you have uh, this morning? What did you want to throw out to the people this morning? Well, we're going to talk about the power of love versus the power of just getting to know each other as people overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the power of love versus the power of money. Mm, right. Mm -hmm. So this is like um, spiritual love, uh, not, not like laying the hands on love, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I it's all about clear. your preference, you know? <laughs> you, know, you know, it's about being in love with yourself or okay. being in love with whatever it is, your career, right, or being right. in love with your spouse. Right, right. So are you in love, whatever you're in love with, you right. embrace it. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Right now I'm in love with my career goals. <laughs> right, you don't have time for a man right now. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now, I'm on a mission. On That's a right. mission. That's yes. right. I like that. And you know, sometimes <laughs> um, when you talk about... Um, when you're talking about your topic, uh, the power of love versus the power of money, and are you enjoying that with the one that you're with right now? And a lot of people don't have that much money you know, <laughs> these That's days. True. You know, yeah, it's all about are you loving the life that you live versus the love of your life? Yeah. yeah you know? well, I think I think we all saw the uh, segment with uh, Oprah, which was just so touching, and I, I think that. You know, even before she articulated that, I think, you know, in, in terms of what I've always tried to do in my life and definitely with, you know, kind of branding myself as Professor Lodge, really kind of stepping into, you know, the love of who you were meant to be, exactly. you know, and following that path and, and, you know, walking in that truth. You know. Yes, yeah. that's exactly why I came up with this topic yeah. because I was looking at the Oprah special, mm -hmm. her final show yesterday, mm -hmm. and how she was such a motivator to right. so many people. Right. And even though she wasn't a mother, she mothered so many exactly. people across the world. Exactly. Yeah. And that was so powerful yeah. about her. Yeah. And how she just embraced the love right. of people. Right. Yeah. And that's what I admire so much about Oprah. I'm going to miss Oprah. Yeah. I'm telling you, we're going to miss that kind of that kind of uh, energy on the television. You know what I'm yes. saying? Every day at four o'clock. Whatever way you are feeling, if you watch Oprah, somebody on that program is going to say something. Say, oh, okay, I understand now. Right. I get, I get it. You know right. what I'm saying? And she got it. She got exactly. it. But I think if anything, we can take away from that experience, and I think she kind of uh, alluded to that, is that you know we have to become, you know, that mentor and that motivator. You know, uh, one of the I think most gratifying roles that I have in what I do in both, you know. Uh, my work on, as Professor Locks and definitely as an educator is being able to mentor and you know work with young people and their mm. families. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, when I first started this, I said that you know I wanted to be the next Spike Lee. You know, where I found you know later on where I got more gratification is really helping that young person who will be the next Spike Lee. Yeah, you don't want to be yeah, Spike Lee. Yeah, he's a bitter uh, old man yeah, right he, now. He, yeah, he's, he's too bitter. <laughs> <laughs> he's a whole, <laughs> whole, lot, whole, lot of, whole lot of baggage. That. <laughs> I, I barely got through my uh, turbo tax. I don't need all that kind of other stuff. <laughs> you just got to create your yeah, own exactly, avenue. Really. Exactly, You're at exactly. a place in life where you should just exactly. create your own path and right. be the you that yeah. you're supposed to be, right. whoever you are. And you have to embrace and that. And that's what it is. You know, I think a lot of times we feel like you know we have to be, you know, world renowned when and actually, you know, we we just have to, you know, kind of, you know, understand that we can affect the world. Um, By just being ourselves. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's and that's the real power of love. The power of love yes. is when you love yourself where you don't care what anybody else think about you, as long as you trying to do what's right. You know what I'm saying? And loving yourself being by being yourself, you permit other people to be themselves. Right. That's true. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot, I mean, I'm telling you, it took me a long time to just learn how to be myself. Yeah. You have to be true <laughs> to yourself. Oh, man, yeah. It, it did. In and order I, to be true to someone else. Yeah. Right. I was in my 40s when I learned how to just be myself. Mm. Wow. Even even on the radio, um, just the way I express myself, the way I talk, I feel comfortable being BJ. Yeah. I'm, that's why people call me Brother BJ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel good when I'm on expressing... Uh, my love for the community or, yeah. or the way I'm feeling and the way I express it. Right. I mean, I feel 
when I walk out of this door at nine o'clock, I feel justified. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel good about myself. Well, you know, the wonderful thing, you know, and, and that happens as we uh, mature, you know, it's, it's funny, like at 40 something years old, I'm a lot more comfortable in my skin. And, yeah. you know, people respond to me, you know, you talk about, you know, love and uh, attraction in a much different way than, you know, when I was, you know, younger and cuter and had a, you know, a better waistline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still cute. <laughs> Thank you. If I heard to give you a compliment, you're in the 40s or something. I know, because you're really out of my mind. <laughs> well, see, I, I love that. You embrace that inner cougar. You know, I, I, exactly. I wrote a post that, you know, I'm glad that women are, are doing that and, and you know, um, celebrating, you know, uh, being seasoned divas. Yeah. Uh, and, and it should not be a stigma. You know, a friend of mine was it like, well, if, if they call women uh, cougars because they date, you know, younger men, what do they call men to do that? And I said, predictable. <laughs> <laughs> and really, a cougar is somebody who's powerful. Right. It you is. know, that's a powerful it is. Is. It is. when you think about it. And I think that, you know, and, and I have a lot of younger students who are, are, and, and younger men in my family who make sure that that's the kind of demographic that they go after because they recognize the power they recognize uh, the sensuality uh, you know, and all that one that you do for them yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, I got, yeah I got some young cousins that will be all up on you <laughs> okay we stop it do I hit black the red oh, stop it if you just hit that red button this is the soul of Charlotte. It's 8.40, 20 minutes to make it before 9 o'clock out of day in the uh, low 90s. 75 degrees right now in Charlotte. Uh -huh. Thursday. 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 Thursday.